He is the very model of a modern chief executive. With information timely and the knowledge nigh impeccative. He knows the kings of all the banks and quotes the fights historical. From Gulf War I to NATO spring in order immemorial. He's very well acquainted too with matters constitutional. The shredding of the law by means destructive and dilutional. The virtues of a policy of trade and co-prosperity. He's cheerful. He's cheerful and he's smart and his citations ring with verity. He's positively poignant on the point of fiscal rectitude. He doesn't think the president can up and go and kill a dude. His record is impeccable on rights pertaining to the states. He makes his fellow senators resemble apes on roller skates. In short, in matters of the most political perspective, he is the very model of modern chief executive. In fact, when he knows what is meant by liberty and patriot, when he can tell at sight a true debate from a soap opera plot, on such affairs as wars and occupations, he's more wary at. Unless the occupation is a protest of the money gas. When he has learnt a thing or two about the freedom of the earth, to live and to give its bounty as it gave us all our very birth. And if he can accept that social services have many fans, then he will have a tidal wave of votes from all Americans! A friend to liberty has rarely on TV been shown Unless you count the dukes of hazard Or people who chase cyclones And throughout the debates the learned doctor Has maintained the stones To tell a little truth Among the nitwits and the rummy clones In short, the USA must learn to heed the prime directive That's why he is the very model Of a modern chief executive